What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Kuka Tastes of Beautiful Samoa. This episode, we're after a sweet treat known as Fa'ausi. Of course, the Fa'ausi is a traditional Samoan dessert. Uh, many different versions for many islands, but here in Samoa, it's the best. Definitely. Now, there are lots of shops like these all over Samoa, selling everything from fresh vegetables and fruit to cut flowers. And this store has something that we are after. <laughs> So this fa'ausi is made of baked smashed taro, brown sugar and coconut cream caramel. And it's all mixed together and it's absolutely beautiful. So it's just one of these local island treats that everyone has any time of day. And it's delicious. It is so good. Mm, mm. Alright guys, so we tried the fa'ausi this morning. So now we are on the way to a place that actually makes it for us. Hello, Alright man, now this is something I haven't done for a little while, but uh, I think I still remember how to ask your man. You got it? I got it man, I got it. I'm a fayava. <laughs> As you can see here, what we're using is, uh, this is Samoan version of a cheese grater. This is what you call a lapa. Okay, so this is something I haven't seen before. Basically what Kavika is doing is he's scraping the kalo against it, and that's going to be the base for the fa fa fa. Okay, okay. All right. Pro tip, if you want to do this, wear more comfortable clothes. It's, uh, it's gonna get pretty hot and sweaty, but that's Samoan cooking for you. Basically it's... Ooh, wow. So now we have the umu heating up. We've got the rocks on top underneath the wood, which is gonna start burning real soon and it's gonna start heating the rocks up and that's what we're gonna use to make the fa'ausi. Okay guys, so we have scraped up the, the taro, we have heated up the banana leaves and now what we're doing is we're getting the coconut cream that we squeezed and we are putting them on the banana leaves and Kapika is putting the what will be the fa 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 into the leaf of course so right now we're using the coconut cream that we just uh, freshly squeezed we got to grease up the lao fai or the banana leaves uh, to uh, so that the taro won't stick and it's easy to open uh, Okay, so now we get to move the rocks that were in the umu. We're gonna take one of these rocks over to the taanoa, to the bowl where we're gonna start making, well, I guess you would call it the caramel. So we've got the coconut cream, we've got the sugar, and this hot rock is just resting on two cutout bits of coconut fiber. And we're gonna start making what we call the fa'ausi. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Yes, I literally can smell what the rock is cooking, and it smells good. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're putting the fa 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 inside the um, Inside this beautiful kind of caramel, and this is actually what makes fa'ausi. Man, look at this. We have got this beautiful caramel here, and this fa'ausi is looking amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got original finished product here. We have got fa'ausi, and it is smelling amazing. I can't wait to try this. So, I think you know, the only thing we can do now is really try this stuff. Time to dig in. All right. Moment of truth. This is definitely worth it. Here we go. Even got our Samoan forks. Mmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm going to make this for my in-laws for sure. 
Yeah, man. Got my show off. Fire yeah. vibe of the month, man. I can't wait for this. If you haven't ever tried this before, or if you want to try this, I definitely recommend it because it's just so good. This is one of the things that I really wanted to try and really wanted to be a part of making in Samoa. And I'm so happy that we got to have the experience. It's been awesome. The team have just been great helping us make all this and 100% worth it. The flavors are just beautiful. This is without a doubt one of my favorite desserts of all time. All right, guys, well, make sure you stay tuned because we have got a whole heap more adventures. We're going to have some beautiful food made here in Samoa and we're going to meet some awesome people as well. So until then, we'll see you on the next episode of Kuka. Tastes of beautiful Samoa. Are you going to eat that? Of course I am going to eat that.